Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been longer than long since I did a video and I'm so sorry for that. It's just any of you other YouTubers out there know that once you get out of the habit of filming, it's kind of hard to jump back in because you get lazy and yeah. So I apologize, but I am back and I have a plate haul and demo for you today. And today we are talking about the Born Pretty Store rectangular plates. I have four of them here. These are from the March 26 launch and these I actually ordered off eBay and they were available three days early. So I ordered these on March 23rd and I got them at an extremely discounted price. I think I got the rectangular plates for something like $2.50 each. I, I think I paid $10 for all four of these plates. So that was a really good deal considering I think Born Pretty, the, the Born Pretty store, their actual website, um, launched them at $5 each, like $4.99 or something. So, okay. So the first one that I have is BPL011. And this is one of those collage plates. This part right here looks really similar to some Y plates. Different, but yet pretty similar. Um, and then over here, it's got Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf, and then various other things that you could use to do a landscape. You have the grass, trees, the different woodland animals. So there's that. And next we have BP-015, and this is a... I would call it a leafy plate, although it does still have some floral. It's got these roses here, and then it's got this flower right here, and then it's got these kind of artistic flowers right here, and then these really pretty flowers here. But then it's also got some really interesting things along the bottom. So to measure one of the full nail designs, it is 15 millimeters by 20 15 by 20 so they are quite large but they could be shrunken later in the video when I demo these for you I am going to try for my first time to shrink an image just to kind of show you what size we could get it down to this are you what kidding are you doing? hmm all right back to talking about plates um, I just now noticed this really, really cool pine tree design here, which would be adorable for Christmas time, obviously. So, that is BPL15. And the next one is BPL017, and this is the summer plate. If you hear something in the background, it's Nala, who's now in the bathroom. So, as you can see, there's shells and some underwater scenes right here, and a beach scene, starfish, and then all these really cool little things down here. And we will go ahead and measure this as well. So we'll measure this one, which is 15. 15 by 18. So again, pretty big, but this one would nicely fit on a nail. I think this is an awesome plate. I'm super excited for it. And that's BPL017. The last plate we're going to talk about is BPL019, and it is the owl plate. And if you know me, then you know I must own every owl plate that I see. I needed this one because almost all the images here I have not seen yet on another plate. So they're quite original, and I'm in love with them. And my favorite is this one right here. It's actually quite oriental looking. This one I was really interested in measuring because it looks quite large to me. All right, so this one from the very tip of this flower all the way over is 20 millimeters by 22 millimeters. So 20 by 22. And this obviously would not fit on one nail. But what I think is I think that this, the owl right here with this one branch would fit on one nail and then you could use this portion on other nails to match. And then we have a little, we have a dove, we have a bird cage, and then these cute, cute, I'm gonna show this one in detail because it's my favorite one. So we have these cute full image 
and then we have these love birds right here and then these almost Indian looking owls right here these could be colored in and it would be adorable and then this one he's really cute this one wearing glasses that's adorable this one's really pretty I like that and then we have the night owl and the love owl so cute and then this owl which this owl could be done with a gothic manicure and it could be made to look very goth and then more bird cages and then we have a flamingo which was actually one of the reasons I loved this plate because I don't have a flamingo anywhere else and we have some what looks like hawks maybe and then some more really really cute owls and then I think this is a robin I'm going to measure one of the owls for you we'll just pick one at random let's do this one alright so this one is 11 11 by 10 that's pretty big you could still get them to fit on your nail he would fill up you know a good amount Most of, your nail. of them will fit without going over you know what I mean so yeah that is BPL 019 and now we're gonna go we're gonna demo and I'm gonna shrink some of the images for you I'm not getting the best stamp um, and I know it's not the polish because I just used it the other day but as you can see there's some pieces of the image missing here and over here so we're gonna switch stampers all right I'm switching to my Moyu London extra large marshmallow stamper <laughs> All right, it looks like it was indeed the stamper because as you can see it picked up almost perfectly um, I'm looking at the plate and I can see that the middle of this flower was so let's try again I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster this time all right there we go this is the best stamp we've gotten of the image so far Here's the, the uh, pine trees. All right, I've got two um, clean colors that I've used for stamping in the past. I have metallic aqua and beach blue, and we're going to see what happens when I use these. And we'll start out doing the same image we've been struggling with. And it picked up perfectly, except for my scrape mark. That is perfect. I know you can't see because of the glare, but that's truly weird. And that would look really pretty on a white nail. PL015, the leafy floor. We'll do um, Mundo Black and see what happens there. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the heat 
and the fans in the room going that's causing the Mundo to um, dry faster than it should. And we're gonna go a little bit quicker, but I'm gonna explain it now. Basically to shrink an image, before you stamp, you're gonna take your marshmallow stamper out and you're gonna put pressure on the sides like this, just like this. It's where it looks like that. And then you're gonna stamp down on the plate and theoretically, when you let go, it will shrink the image. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it now without, without taking the time to explain it to you while I do it. All right, it didn't pick up perfectly, but it did shrink. As you can see, it's a much smaller image now and it could easily fit on a small nail all right We are moving on to BPL017, the summer plate. Before I continue, I have swatched everything and finished filming the video. And what I concluded from the problems I was having is that the plates are not the most deeply etched. They're not too shallow, but they're they're shallow enough to where if it's too hot in the room, if there's a breeze, if there's fans blowing, that it's gonna cause problems. The plates are good. The Mundo usually works. That exact bottle has worked for me in the past, but the plates are not like Moyu London etching or anything. So if anything else is causing any even a slight problem, it's gonna cause the shallowness of the plates to be a factor in the stamp not transferring properly. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and you know make make it clear that the plates are good they work good under normal circumstances it's just that they are shallow enough to cause the polish to dry quickly if your room is really really hot you have fans going you have windows open to cause the polish to dry Here we have the little jellyfish, which did not pick up completely. You see the bottom of his tentacle didn't pick up, but he's still really, really easy. review and demo and haul of some of the Born Pretty rectangular plates. I hope that those of you that were asking for a video on it found it helpful and informative and I will be doing many more videos here very soon because I have a drawer full of unfilmed plates so be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. I love you guys so so much. Bye! I'm a ninja. Yo, my life is like a video game. My main thing when I'm in the zone. One player, one.